Welcome to Matt's Own HD Sportsnet, presented by the JMU Alumni Association. We're joined by women's golf head coach, Sarah Sargent, for another coach's show. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you. So this past weekend, we competed in the Florida State matchup uh, down in Tallahassee. Uh, just give us your thoughts on the tournament itself um, and how you thought we did. Uh, well, it's a lot of fun to go to that tournament. I was really excited to get an invitation last year when um, they were sent out. and It's a fun one to start with. We know that it's a really difficult field, but it's a fun way to go down there. We get an invite, and then we get to invite another team to go with us. So we invited Virginia Tech. Um, Carol Robertson, who's the coach there, is one of the most decorated JMU golfers. Um, so I thought it'd be fun for the two of us to go down there and kind of compete against each other, but with each other. Um, so it was a good way to start. We knew that it was going to be a difficult field. Um, and I think that unintentionally it beat the girls down a little bit but <laughs> but at the same time it made them really want to get to work and make sure that we're ready for Jacksonville. Yeah definitely we got off to a little bit of a slow start but there was definite improvement to be seen from the beginning to the end especially I noticed with Maddie Cox you know the front nine of round one she really struggled <laughs> but from there on I think she really you know saw some made some adjustments and improved. Uh, what did you think about the team's ability to adjust throughout the tournament? I thought Maddie did an awesome job. One of the things that Maddie and I discussed after the fall season was her ability to handle difficult times like that. If Maddie would have started the way she started at this tournament sometime in the fall, she would have shot in the 80s for sure. And the rest of her tournament would have been affected because of how her emotions would have taken over. Yeah. This week, I really saw some maturity, um, a great step in the right direction for her to become a really top 100 player in the country. Uh, I think she needs to manage her emotions, and she did an awesome job of it. I mean, I saw some funny shots out of that girl, but she somehow figured out a way to get it in the hole. Um, and she could laugh about it. Versus in the fall, I think she would be more worried about it sure. than just say, okay, well, I just hit a terrible shot, and it ended up 20 feet from the hole. Yeah. Um, there's no pictures on the scorecards. The rest of the team, we definitely, like Jordan, it was great to see that she shot a 74 the last round. Everyone, it was like, oh, okay, we just played four rounds of golf in a row. Kind of got things moving along. Yeah. So now you have some extra time to prepare for the next tournament. You know, I have a few weeks in between. Uh, what do you sort of focus on um, sort of in training to improve going forward? One of the things that I definitely saw where we needed to improve, um, which I say a lot, is our short game. Uh, sure. And when you've only played five or six rounds between the time you got back to school and when we left for our first tournament, that's something that's going to be off. Your feel is going to be off. So last week we focused a lot on short game. Um, now that we are outside a good bit, we're playing, and what I've told the girls is to really focus on the feel and – it's going to feel different no matter where we go, but just using your innate ability to get around the golf course. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just You just got to get around. Sure. Yeah, and that next tournament that we have coming up is the North Florida Collegiate. It begins March 7th. So what do you sort of expect out of that tournament heading in? I think a top half of the field finish would be great. Um, it's a sneaky strong field. Um, Texas is there. Houston is there. Houston won last year. But there's a whole bunch of teams right there that are like 50 to 75, 80 in the rankings. So if we could get a couple of wins out of those, I think we should feel very confident and, and like we're moving in the right direction. Um, as far as just golf games concerned, I'd love to see some confidence out on the golf course. We were positive at FSU, but we need to believe in ourselves. Um, and just as a coach watching from the outside, I just want them to walk out there like they own the place. They may not, but that's my goal, is we can walk out there like the Rocky song is playing in our head and, and we're ready to rock and roll. So that's kind of what I'm hoping for out of the next tournament, just a little more confidence. Gotcha. Well, yeah, definitely all of our fans can keep up with that on jmusports.com and on jmuwgolf on Twitter. Coach, thanks for joining us. Thank you.